opportunistic hunters. So if the opportunity presents itself, they will grab it with both hands or paws and teeth, as the case may be. Now, I'm not sure. I know Mfumo was with the Inkuhumas. Were there any other male lions? Tinyo was there as well, apparently. Now, I wonder which male lion this is, because we haven't had... The Impala are all alarm calling now. We haven't had the Birmingham boys more than... We haven't had more than two Birmingham boys in quite a while, at least that I can remember. Now, I had a question about whether or not the Birmingham boys have ever been challenged, and we said we'd get back to that. Oh, you can hear the Impala shouting at the male lion. Um, yes, in a way they have been challenged. Um, when they came into this area, of course, they pushed the Matimbas out. But, oh, there go monkeys as well, and a Wahlberg's eagle. Everything's shouting. Lots of responses from the different animals in the bush. Let's catch up with them and see the monkeys alarm calling at him as well. Um, but in terms of being challenged, yes, they would have been. They had to establish their boundaries, and of course male lions, they would have come into contact with male lions. We might not necessarily have seen it or heard about it, but I have no doubt they clashed with the Salati males. I know they clashed with the Salati males that were up to the north at one point. And you'll probably find that there were other males on their boundaries as well. I don't know whether they've ever met the mighty force of the Majingilan males, but they definitely have earned their spot as the dominant males of this area. Oh, he's calling. Listen to the sounds that have exploded out of the bush. Even the Warburgs is alarm calling. A lion is not a popular creature out here. Now, when you hear a cacophony of sounds like that, you know there is a big cat somewhere. something really nice smelling. I think he might even roll in it. Let's catch up with him. So the... I can't do it. I can't do it today. <laughs> Not with my current, current cold. Um, but I'll show you the monkeys, or I'll try to show you the monkeys that are alarm calling. But hold on, he's rolling. The whole world knows he's here. Hello, boy. Who have we got here? Let me get my head out of your way. So, Nsugo or Nena? Who have we got here? I think it's Nsugo or Blondie. Oh, look at him. He's having such a wonderful time rolling in something smelly. <laughs> I wonder if one of his buddies didn't come through and mark this area at some point not too long ago, because there's something there that smells really nice that he's enjoying. Oh. <laughs> he's basically climbing into the bush to try and coat himself in whatever smells so nice. <coughs> Excuse me. He's making little, I don't know if you can hear it, but he's making little soft grunting noises every now and again. <laughs> I wonder what is in there that he's enjoying so much. And you see it with all of our predators when they find, particularly with wild dogs and sometimes with hyena, but lions do it as well when they find a scent that they enjoy, go and roll themselves in it. Those of you with perhaps cats or dogs particularly, 
will know that they do that. Look at what you've done to your mail on that side. It's all matted now. Yes, everything knows you're here. He's got a fresh cut above his left eye. Two marks, actually. They look like puncture wounds. And those could have been from anything. They could have been from fighting with other males, or they might it might have come from hunting. So while our lion lounges around, doing what lions do best, let's go over to James so that he can bid you adieu. How cool is that to 